this one's so cool looking i just know it's not gonna last hopefully it lasts this week and gets on the update monday but the guy had over 100 grand invested over 10 year period it's a 1968 pontiac firebird 454 under the hood all upgraded pulleys looks like we got power steering power brakes chromed out aluminum radiator electric fan ac dual carbs yeah this should be a great test drive aftermarket wheels and tires and that setup right there we go fat tires on the back it's just not cheap guys still got nipples on the tires a very awesome paint job it's just sitting here glowing i'd say that's like a pearl orange custom roll bar for the interior which makes it to where you could still get in and out of the car easily they left the back seat i don't know about riding back here there's not a whole lot of room aftermarket steering wheel interior's been redone the birds in the seats check out the detailed pictures maplemotors.com you can get financed on this one i can ship it right to your house be sure to hit subscribe share this video it's about that time let's go for a ride this is a bad mamma jamma i like it it's very tasteful the carpet looks good interiors clean dash pads clean i mean this is a really nice car you definitely tell they invested a lot of money into it that was without me giving it gas at all ac's already cold as i cut it on it's getting colder now i'm gonna turn it off heard the compressor kick off there and they're like they call radio works we need to get gas looks like our gas gauge is on e full pressure gauge is moving there this gas gauge is broken showing 64,000 miles it's hard to stand behind that you can see the billet column here tilt column two adjustable turn signals it's popping up there i can see it on this side it's not popping up a little bowl it's not doing anything wipers well wipers aren't doing anything either we'll see if they're actually hooked up extra door handles okay horn place your bets do you think it works haven't tried it yet a little piece there needs to be tightened up horn oh, they never hooked it up they spent 100 grand but they didn't hook the horn up <laughs> all right we'll go ahead and adjust our mirrors and hit the road Let's see how this one runs and drives
not doing it anymore. Get that flying out of there. Into our brakes. Stop it fast. Back into the gas. Now this one here, it seems pretty fast. I feel like it's not doing its full potential. But other than that little body flex pop I felt, she feels pretty good. Now our engine temperature gauge up here is not doing anything. I'm going to keep an eye on all the components on the car here and kind of check it out. I do want to pop the hood about midway through the video, make sure we're doing good there, especially with a non-working temp gauge. Um, whoop not having an accurate gas gauge or at least that I think this one's out this one here almost on E but we'll check I think I can get it up to half a tank here got a fuel cell in the trunk so we're top of the trunk we'll show you that and then after that I'm gonna light up the undercarriage I'm trying to fit my camera under here I know this one's a little bit low but it should be fine uh, as long as I can watch it I don't want to run it over them big tires wouldn't that be something Hopefully that doesn't happen. All right. Let's get a little bit of fuel and continue this video. I hear my electric fan cuts on with the ignition there. This thing is bad, guys. <laughs> I love this paint. I don't need this car, but I really contemplating right now. So I'll be selling one of mine here in the next week or so just to get something different. I love me some first gen. Okay, so we run 93, almost five gallons worth of gas. I just want to see if the gas gauge works. It did hold it uh, in that fuel cell there. Okay. Well, our gauge down here was this, and I've got the wrong key in there. So. Let's put the right key in, Nick. Turn the key on. I'm going to say the gas gauge is broken. This one actually came up a little bit more, but neither one of them are accurate. Squeeze this. Put her in gear. And roll out.
Okay, we're getting ready to take off here. Hopefully it's not too windy. I know it's very windy out here, but give it a little gas. Our RPM gauge is going the opposite way when I rev it. So it's at what a thousand now, and then when you rev it, it goes to zero. Hooked up backwards or something. Visors keep catching wind here. I need to put a screw right there in, to in the top. It's missing the screw to hold the visors up. Uh, otherwise, they'd be fine. I did the walk around in the parking lot here. That's why I had the car off. And it turned out pretty good. See, there's a little slack in the steering there. About that much. It's turning here and there. Brakes feel great on this one. Speedometer's not working. I'm gonna say the guy spent all the money on the drive terrain and the paint and the interior. But he didn't finish with the gauges. Needs a speedo hooked up, needs a gas gauge, needs a hay temp gauge. Oil pressure's working. Battery gauge, I don't think it's working either. It's sitting in the middle there. in the road coming up right here we're real stiff in the back with the big tires Getting ready to pass Maple Motors here. We're gonna head on down to Brian's. Kind of drive through back here. I gotta see them next week about a stereo that I'm getting put in. I do it myself but they're gonna custom make the box and I'm not real good at custom making boxes so I'm just gonna let them handle all of it they do everything from wheels tires parts accessories lift kits stereos interiors and they're next door to Maple Motors we're checking out again Brian's Motorsports BMS you can find him on Instagram you know uh, Facebook YouTube and of course on uh, TikTok. man that Chevelle looks good I don't know how much longer TikTok's going to be around, or it may be fine. I don't, I don't know the situation on that. But if it disappears, you'll still see all the videos on this platform and, uh, and the others. Just know if you want to see the videos first, they come out on YouTube first. If you want to see the inventory first before the videos, they come out on maplemotors.com Mondays at 12. That's when we get everything updated. By two o'clock, all the information and the description's put in. So by the end of the day, Monday, you can have a full list. But if you catch it first, you can give me a call. I can tell you about the cars. I can tell you when the videos are coming out. And sometimes if I get enough calls, I'll schedule one video first because of the amount of calls.
We made it back, guys. Picking out the flaws is coming up next. Chip scratches, rust dents. You'll know about it. Thanks for watching. So what I did was I just kind of pulled the top up. It's a manual top. Uh, I didn't latch or anything. I'm just going to throw it back down. We're going to put this car back in the showroom. A little piece there needs to be put back on. But the top overall is in really good shape. I want to open the trunk. And I thought it was interesting. It's got some Velcro on the inside here. So if I throw this top back, you could see the little Velcro around. And I was like, what's that for? Well, inside the trunk... It had another top. I started looking. It's got Velcro. I figured out you could put that on the inside of this top when the top's up and hide all the gear. Hide the inside of the top. That's really cool. I like that. Um, I also got the boot. This right here clips in, goes over the top once the top's down, just like this. And you'll clip it in with these. And that leather will cover it all up. Now, first off, we're going to start in the trunk. I'm going to put all this stuff back up in the trunk for one. Lower bumper here. She's pretty clean. Weather stripping jams all nice and clean. See where they modified the trunk. Trunk lid, beautiful. And down with it. Sorry about the wind. It is uh, crazy windy today. Oh, I forgot to put that back. I'll do it at the end. I love this paint. Coming down this side. Couldn't ever get the door to shut evenly it's better on top it sticks out a little bit on the bottom so it needs some adjustments uh, I got the electric fan on because I always leave it on a little bit after this one cuts off of the ignition I just wanted it to make sure the radiator cools down a little bit more before I shut it off I do that with most of the cars but it seems like the engine temperature has been staying at a good rate I don't have a gauge to go by, but I'm just going by the hoses. I grabbed the hoses. <laughs> just kind of checked everything out. Slight chip right there. Can't tell if that's a chip or what it is. I'm kind of trying to rub it off. It's just a light little speck there. This is a really good paint job. Little spot there. Real small. Let's go ahead and check out the front end.
dirt on the side here too. Same thing with this door, just hanging a little bit. This one's a little bit harder to shut. See, gonna give her a good firm shut. crack there in the paint. Let's go ahead and check out our interior. I see the fire extinguisher rolling on the floor. I stuck at the back seat for now. You got some stitching coming loose here. Not that anybody's gonna sit in the back. Might be pretty easy to stitch that up. Got some speakers back here. Opening up our door. You got a slit on your armrest there. Looks like a screw in there too. Room looks good, jams look good. Bottom of the door is super slick. Interior here. These mirrors, I mean, not mirrors, visors, are falling because this isn't mounted right. This needs to be mounted up in the hole there with a screw in the front of it to hang on. So that's actually an easy fix. Uh, once we get back to the lot, I'm going to send it to the back make them fix all that. Because this was not kidding. It was a little annoying driving around and the visors kept falling. But look, now once it's in place, it's good to go. But it does need a screw to fix that up. Turn the key, not hit the gas. Starts up without hitting the gas. Oil pressure is good on this one. But our temp gauge isn't working. Need some gauges fixed.
coming down with the hood. I sure hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Be sure to hit subscribe and share. That's going to help me out. And thank you for that. Uh, MapleMotors.com has detailed pictures, finance, and shipping. And, of course, we get all these cars in every single Monday and list them to the public. Now, some of them sell faster than the others. Hopefully, this one's still available because I try to stay about five to seven days ahead now. Once I got ahead, I tried to stay ahead. So, I'm already working on the following week's videos so that I can get them out to you faster. Again, thanks for watching. MapleMotors.com, finance and shipping, detailed pictures. I'll see you in the next one.